Welcome, my name is Brent Leo Smith, and I'm going to delve into one of my favorite subjects a little bit today, and that is elephant behavior. Now, a lot of people consider elephants to be the most dangerous animal in the bush, and generally when you get into a bad situation with elephants, it's because you've read their body language wrong. So I'm gonna go very carefully. I can already see those elephants there. There's the breeding herd, the females. They are not looking comfortable. Now, out in the African bush, you often come across elephants. You come across elephants in breeding herds. You come across elephants as single bulls, young bulls, old bulls, bulls in must, females in estrus, and every single different elephant sighting has a different dynamic and you can't have any general rules to set for them you need to judge each specific interaction on its own so there we go just a little bit of posturing reminding us that he's big he's also got high ground as his advantage so he's feeling even bigger than he normally does as i said you can't treat every interaction the same so you got to look for different sort of standout features and a lot of people are always drawn towards the elephant's trunk now in a lot of cases the elephant's trunk is the last place i'll look uh, to see if an animal's upset or about to be aggressive because uh, their trunks are so busy and they're always moving and picking things up it's generally the last place one should look but if you ever do find yourself in a really dangerous situation elephants will often curl up their trunk because it's such an important part of their life to protect it so they'll curl their trunk in lower their head and start coming towards you i'm watching you but uh -uh. see don't misbehave yeah now one of the most important important signs to look for an elephant is their tail now obviously if you get an elephant without a tail you gotta look a bit carefully at all the other signs but when an elephant's tail becomes stiff it means they're uncomfortable when it becomes fully unwrecked they're actually either scared or angry so the tail is probably the most important telltale sign with elephants for me quite often when people get into dangerous situations with elephants it's not the elephant's fault it's their fault they've misread the body language and a lot of people think when an elephant starts standing tall above you, shaking his head, trumpeting, maybe grabbing a branch and throwing it, the best thing to do is to speed out of there at top speed. That is the worst thing to do. You're actually encouraging that animal to chase you. So he's trying to get behind me, which I'm not letting him do. Now, this is learnt behavior from people. What he's showing at the moment, he's used to people driving away from him when he does that and it actually causes a bit of problems so people drive away fast rev their engines uh, from an elephant and it actually teaches young elephant bulls to to chase vehicles so keeping still quite often talking in a nice calm voice if he comes too close you'll notice often i'll raise my voice a little bit or i'll just tap the side of the car just change the sound take control of that situation now of course sometimes you do need to get out of there but most of the time sitting put is the most important thing and riding out the little challenge that he's giving you i'm going to start the car again now and i'm going to try and move off slowly but if he does come at us again i will bang the side of the car yes you're very big hey! there we go so it's very important to read elephant behavior like that there's no correct one way to act. You have to judge each individual scenario on its own. But, but remember, keep your distance if you're not 100% sure about the elephant behavior. Well, if you want to find out what's happening in the middle of the African bush, join us on Safari Live. Subscribe here, and then when you see the bell, click on it, and it'll let you know when we're going to bring you the wonders of Africa live.